Hello, Dr. Huffstader here, and today I wanted to talk to you about one of the biggest scams that happens in modern uh, uh, food production, and that is the scam of, of the, of the so-called alternative sweetener, or, or no-calorie sweetener, sugar-free sweeteners. Uh, things like Splenda, saccharin, uh, uh, aspartame, uh, and, and others are really, a lot of people are drawn to them just because they're, they're, they're sugar-free and they're no-calories. Uh, and they may fool your taste buds. You know, they may fool your taste buds into thinking you've consumed something that's, that, that's sugar, that's, uh, that's sugar-like. Uh, but they don't fool the brain, at least not for long. Uh, because when you eat those sorts of things, the brain tastes sweet or begins to perceive a sweetness on the tongue. And it expects some calories to be coming pretty soon. And it prepares for that. Uh, but when the calories do not come... It creates a significant imbalance, biochemical and, and endocrinology, uh, endocrine imbalance, uh, which can result not only in more cravings for sugar in sweet foods, uh, but also in the accumulation of fat. And you say, how can you be accumulating fat when you don't consume any calories when you eat these sorts of foods? Well, I'll explain that to you. Because when you consume an artificial sweetener, many of these, your body will still create an insulin response. In other words, the, the brain will stimulate the pancreas to produce insulin. And insulin is the primary fat storage hormone in your body. In other words, you cannot accumulate fat unless you have ins excess insulin, uh, uh, chronically elevated uh, insulin, excess insulin. So when you consume these types of types of, of, uh, of sweeteners, it's true you're getting no calories and you're getting no sugar, but your body is still experiencing all the same biochemical uh, reactions to the sugar, but doesn't have the calories coming in to, to, uh, uh, to work with. So uh, it creates a, creates a real nightmare, uh, an endocrine nightmare, but also uh, these things are poisonous. Um, there's a, a mountain of research on the on the poisons of aspartame and, and NutraSweet and, and even now emerging some some evidence of the poison uh, uh, poisonous nature of Splenda. So if you're one of these people who who's using an artificial sweetener, drinking like diet soda pop, for instance, because you think it's healthier, think again. Uh, we don't advise having any soda pop at all. Uh, but uh, if you're going to, and I can't believe I hear myself saying this, but if you if you absolutely must drink soda pop. You're probably better off drinking the regular sugared soda pop. As bad as it is, it's probably better than the artificially sweetened one. So God bless you, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.